I'm going to go through five habits you need to break. Habit number one, watch your spending. It's so easy to get caught up with tapping your card, going online, putting all your details in, and spending countless amounts of pounds on things you don't need. Genuinely ask yourself, do I need those things? Or can I get by without those things? If it's something like, of course, you need to go and pay for your car insurance, whether it's paying for clothes, and of course you need those things. For example, do you need to wear that very fancy suit or dress? Or do you just need something casual that's a lot cheaper? Or even just do your research. There's loads of different things you can do when it comes to finding decent and legitimate discounts. So don't just effortlessly spend your money. Be realistic. Do I need it? Or can I get by without it? Habit number two. Stop watching porn. To be fair, you can still watch porn. But a lot of people do tend to get carried away. So if you watch too much porn, it can affect your sex drive. And when you actually find that partner or just a one night stand, you might not perform as well as if you didn't watch porn in the first place. Don't get addicted to it. If you're feeling lonely, anxious, stressed, don't turn to porn because it can become a very, very bad habit in time. So don't do that to yourself. Reduce how much porn you're watching. Habit number three, don't people please. It's so easy to people please and say, yes, I'll do that without realizing the negative impact it can have on your mental and physical well-being. Make sure you know your limit. And if you don't know your limit, pace yourself with the intensity of things you're doing. So in a typical eight hour shift, can you genuinely do four one hour tasks in that eight hour window? Do you need to travel in between those tasks? Do you need to file paperwork? Can you accommodate it? Genuinely just say, I can't do that right now. It's quite overwhelming. If someone argues with it, you just explain to them, this is my limit at the moment. Obviously don't take the piss and be lazy and say, I just want to do one thing at work. That's different. But if there are substantial tasks that take a long time to complete, be honest and say, that's my limit. It's okay to say no. Habit number four, the comfort zone. Now, we have all done this, probably still doing it now. You get anxious in social settings. You get anxious to go on that first date. But how do you break through those barriers? Do you stay in the comfort zone? Or do you have to nudge the edge of that comfort zone and almost push yourself out of it? That's what you need to do. Push yourself out of it. Not too harsh, not too quickly, but gradually take that circle and gradually expand it so your comfort zone gets even bigger. And with that, your confidence in yourself can grow as well. I'm not saying it's easy, but to grow self-confidence and to reduce anxiety, you have to break that comfort zone. And finally, habit number five, stop effortlessly scrolling. We've all done it, we're on TikTok, we're scrolling, 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 and then we realize, oh shit, 20 minutes have just gone by. It's crazy how you can just scroll on your phone and you just get lost in it. 20 minutes, half an hour of your life has just gone to an algorithm. That's just gonna keep recommending more things similar to what you're watching to keep you hooked, keep you on there. That's all it is. It's a big money game. I'm not saying you can't scroll. Of course, you do what you want. However, you need to break the habit of constantly scrolling and scrolling. Personally, I only go on TikTok maybe once or twice a week, genuinely. I'll make TikToks, so hopefully you guys are following me on TikTok. <laughs> I do make TikToks and I schedule them to go up. I might on occasion go on my TikTok and have a little scroll. But I don't scroll on there for any more than five minutes. So I'm very, very firm with that. 
Now there are loads of other habits out there that we have and we need to break those too. But those are just five key ones that you can apply right now. And without further ado, let's jump to the gym. And it's nice and quiet in the gym today. So no excuse. Yeah, those games. can uh, hold yourself up on the bar for. So I'm going to go and ask in the office and uh, I'm going to give it a go. I've been very fatigued, very burnt out. I'm going to try our best to do it. Let's see if we can get to one and a half minutes. Less at the moment, it's over two minutes. But uh, yeah. we're going to see, uh, see if we can possibly get that done. So, uh, that's all right. Not talking to myself, all right, guys. So, <laughs> not talking to myself. Um, could I be timed on the bar, please, for your painful challenge? Cheers. <laughs> all right. So Nate's gonna time time me. I'm gonna see if I can hit one and a half minutes. That won't, be, that won't be the best time, but we'll see if we can uh, try and get over one and a half minutes. But it's been a long time, so let's see what your boy can do. Cheers, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest, but <laughs> I'm going to try it for one and a half minutes. Yeah. That's, my, that's my goal. I'll take that, one and a half, one and a half minutes. Take that. 131. You can feel it, you really feel it. But I, I literally just done dry steps here, and I was yeah. thinking I shouldn't have done that before this. Yeah, it's better than doing back before. Well, I've, I've, I've done back, chest, and arms, so I should have probably done this to start off with. Yeah. And then done everything, but yeah. I've done everything and then this. Yeah, that's good. We'll get your up on the board. All right, mate. Cheers, man, appreciate it. So yeah, so 1 minute 31, and that's going to call the end to the vlog, so take care guys. Go and uh, give me a cheeky like, follow me on Instagram, so we'll make the move. Much love guys.